Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another tunnel take. This time you're gonna get a take on uh some fake crab cakes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got some of this um crab delights is what it's called. This is this uh video is for Martin at over the pipe. He showed a video last night on his live of a guy making crab cakes. No fish cakes is what he was making, but um it's nothing but pollock really. It's a fish and. And it's got the red on it like a crab does, that sort of thing. Kind of reminds me of a uh, a, uh, a case that we had here in North Carolina on the coast where a guy was, had a great big crab house, you know, where they picked crabs and he would have the uh, big trucks sending the crab meat up north. And um, he was apparently taking this stuff and mixing it in with his crab meat because it's cheap compared to crab. I can't afford crab meat, and uh, and uh, you know, just and just banking on it, you know. And um, apparently, somebody must have must have did a DNA sample on the on the stuff or something, and found out that what what he was doing. Anyway, um, yeah, I got my Jiffy, old Jiffy uh, batter here, uh, muffin mix stuff um, with a third cup of water and a, and an egg that it, that it needs. And instead of using the um, Instead of using the uh, powdered uh, onion and the powdered garlic, I'm, I got garlic and I got onion here. I do want to show you this this little gadget here, you know. Yeah, so aggravating chopping up onions, you know. You get all the, the, the gas fumes from it, making you cry and all that stuff. And, and it's just a job, you know. Afraid you're going to cut your finger and you end up with a big chunk at the end after you've done it all just so like you see on television, you know. This thing here is awesome. What you do, you hit it like that, and it's got these sharp edges, knife edges right here. And every time you hit it, it turns about an eighth of an about an eighth of a turn, and um, and works like a charm for onions, I must say. You just keep doing that, you know, and um, Doing this right here, and uh, get it just as fine as you want. And I want it pretty fine in it. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, that'll work. There we go. Almost to a mince. That'll be fine. It's quick, it's easy. cheese up in here. Yeah, boy. Okay, I'm going to get the mixing and I'll be back with the batter and the fish and, and the uh, fish to be mixed in here. Yeah, we're back. I'm just going to take some of this, uh, this Alaskan pollock is what it is. I'm just going to cut it up kind of, kind of thin as I can because you want it kind of, uh, Smaller pieces, you know. There we go. I'm going to need a bigger bowl for sure for mixing and all. Okay, I'm going to blend this thing up and make us some cakes. How about it? Okay, I've got a mix mixed, but I do want to try, I do want to put some uh, cocktail sauce in it. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I got it. That'll work. Stir 
throw that around here. flour it's gonna see how see how it's kind of moving around and I'll put a little bit of flour just to just kind of thicken things up where I can make a cake out of it in the state and it holds its shape you know I don't want to put it in there like a I don't want to put it in there like a hush puppy you know in a liquidy form you know and you got to just drop it in there and hope for the best be right back <laughs> well it's taken me two tries to figure out about how this needs to be done flour these things well because they're still going to be gooky and uh and um and, and wet and stick them over like that and you have to get them up with the spatula most likely to get them into the pan i got my oil heating up over there this is what we've got here Maybe I need to put more flour in the batter. Let me try that one time. Let's get this going on there in here. I don't know why I bother using a spoon to do this. And this is my hands are. Hey, that's that's a lot thicker. Let's see if it's even gonna work though. Yeah, maybe it'll be work a little better. Yes, that's much better. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I'll get the rest of them done here. Oh, yeah. They're coming along. About time for a flip. Well, here's the here's the first one off. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if they're done. I got the other one still on there. This thing's guaranteed to be smoking. I just got out the oil. Okay, just got another one out that looked like it was done a little bit more. Let's check it out. Ooh, it's looking hot. It doesn't look like it's any more done on the inside, but which uh, cornbread mix is going to have a cornmeal mix is going to not want to look nice and puffy like a like a um, uh, wheat flour mix would anyway yeah not too bad there we are over there doing our little thing pretty good you know like anything that with fish or crab in it takes some Take some kind of sauce to give it some flavor, you know, because it's, you know, fish and crab are pretty bland meats for the most part. A little cocktail sauce. I'm at a little uh, tartar sauce. Woo! Yeah, it worked. 
See you guys. Yeah, watching uh, Martin's Live last night over the pipe live. Whenever I see something hit a great big pot of oil, oh man, it just turns me on. <laughs> sure does. Uh -huh, uh huh. I love frying something. But now I got a job ahead of me washing all the dishes. That's one thing that battering something and, uh, and frying it creates massive amount of dishes, you know. Anyway, but um, crab cakes have always been bland to me. And this is no exception, really, because it's kind of a sweeter meat, and 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 you add the um, the flour that doesn't have anything any flair to it, or cornmeal, you know that jiffy, that box jiffy meal is um is cornmeal, and it just doesn't have much of a, a blast of flavor, you know. But um, one thing for sure that, that when you when you get some cocktail sauce, I mean, uh, excuse me, some uh, tartar sauce on this stuff, woo, it's good. I mean that that the the smoothness and the coolness of the of the mayonnaise, and that that pop that the pickles have, you know that um, vinegary sweetness that the pickles have. Oh. It seems to bring all the other flavors out. It really does. It's good, pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna sit around the house here. And just let my arm recoup. Well, I can't sit around the house long. By 2 o'clock, I was out shopping. I guess it was probably 12 o'clock I was out shopping. I just got to get out. But um, I've learned what I can do with my arm, what I can't, without hurting it. Without it hurting me. You know, you know. After this, I'm going to get up into... Uh, this um, this uh, Lord of the Rings pipe that I got yesterday, and I smoked this thing pretty good last night, and um, never had a gurgle. Of course, I guess I wouldn't because the condensation that gets up in the plastic right here is is running down into the wood shank here, and um, and it's absorbing the moisture before it can get down to the bottom of the bowl. When I would get to the end of my my um. My uh my bowl of of, of tobacco I, there was no crackling like there was, there was liquid in the bottom of it you know you know how sometimes you get right to that bottom there'll be a crackle because it's it's trying to burn wet tobacco you know that that, that the condensation is settled right in the base of the chamber you know there was none of that you know and um to clean it to clean my pipe out at the end it just fell right out you know and weren't weren't, weren't there weren't that that packed tight wet tobacco you know and that's that's one major advantage of any long wooden shank uh canadians are that way billiards just doesn't have it going for them you know whenever you got a the shank is only as long as the um as the bow is tall you know that that's called a billiard and um and uh and uh they they, they the shank just isn't long enough to absorb all the moisture and the moisture gets into that base down in there. Anyway, um, some pipes have got the hole drilled lower. A Peterson's, the Peterson system pipe, you know, the, the, the hole is drilled low and then about up, up, up about uh, maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch, the hole goes into the uh, chamber. So that water will have a place to sit and you'll have a place to get your, your, um, your uh, pipe cleaner down in there to get that, get that water out. Um, or the condensation that would happen in the in the, uh, in the, the uh, ebonite or whatever the stem is made of it's plastic I'm a fancy word for plastic in my opinion <laughs> anyway um yeah I'm gonna be getting in some of this uh seven C's seven C's uh, uh um red blend <laughs> what a name <laughs> but it's, it's their attempt at, uh, at cherry I guess because it does have a cherry flavor Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing after my uh, crab cake here. I'll see you guys. See you, Martin. Thanks for the video the other night. Bye.